Welcome grade 8 students, this is teacher JB and uh, today's lesson is another literary selection. We have Elias' mission, Saving the Books of Iraq, and it's written by Mark Allen Stamadi. So I hope that you have your materials ready, your student anthology book, copy book, and your pen, and please turn it on page 354 as we start. Our learning objectives are pretty simple. First is to order the correct sequence of events in the selection. And number two is explain the important goals of Aliyah during the war. But before we dive in into our selection, let us compare these people first. So we have Mr. Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, and Mohandas Gandhi. These three men lived highly visible lives, speaking and traveling wildly to promote their causes, gathering followers and some enemies as well wherever they went. On the other hand, Baker pursued her career as a librarian out of the spotlight. Yet when the opportunity to serve her community arose, Baker did not hesitate, even in the face of danger. The books that Baker saved were written in a variety of languages, and some were hundreds of years old. Let us talk about the background of Aliyah in the book. The war began in March 2003, and as the war got closer, Aliyah Muhammad Baker, the chief librarian of the Central Library in Basra, wanted to find a way to save all the books before the library destroyed. This selection is an excerpt from the graphic text that tells the true story of her efforts. As you read a graphic text, consider how this format affects your understanding of the key ideas. Consider how the story might be different if it were told in a newspaper article or other types of informational text. A graphic text such as this one tells a story in a series of frames that includes both words and pictures. So as you may see, the following instruction tells you that you have to be reading from left to right. Please pause this video as you read Aliyah's mission, Saving the Books of Iraq, and take time to understand how Aliyah saved tons of books and what is the implication and the importance of her action. In summary, Aliyah's mission shows that even a regular person can make a difference in the community and in the world. I hope that you learned something today. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of New Vision International School for you to get updated about the new lessons and the new posts. See you on the next video. Bye!